cell E1 of 8 volt EMF and 2 ohm internal resistance, cell E2 of 2 volt EMF and 4 ohm internal resistance. The terminal potential difference of the cell E2 means we have to calculate the voltage across B and C that we have to calculate. So first of all, we will calculate the net current flowing in the circuit. Of course, 8 volt will dominate over the 2 volt. So direction of flow of current will be like this. So net current in the circuit is going to net EMF. This is negative and this negative is in touch short circuit. So 8 volt minus 2 volt, it is 6 volt and net resistance is 6 ohm. So you can say net current is flowing in the circuit is 1 ampere. So 1 ampere current is flowing at this point. Now we have to calculate the voltage across B and C. Suppose we are starting from this B point VB, then we are moving from negative to positive. So voltage will be added plus 2. Then current is flowing in this direction, you are moving opposite direction. So of course IR. So plus I into R. I means 1 ampere. R is 4 ohm and it is VC. So ultimately if we calculate VB minus VC or we calculate VC minus VB, it is 4 plus 2, 6 volt. The right answer of this problem is 6 volt.